How are you doing guys? Uh, welcome to Four Elements Outdoors. I'm Lewis. I'm Dan. Uh, today we've just uh, come out on another little uh, short day camp. No overnight tonight, but just exploring some new uh, new woods. I just want to have a bite to eat, so uh, stick around. See any hints and tips from us, and yeah, see you in a bit. How are we doing guys? Uh, today I'm trying something different. Instead of using my normal way of uh, putting up a hammock and basher, I want to use a kind of ridge line, but not. Uh, literally just a length of uh, rope or paracord, what have you. And tie it off just on a little cinch knot, which is adjustable so I can pick it up, attach it to the other end, and then adjust and uh, put it as tight as need be. So once I've got the other end tied up, I'll show you how it uh, looks. Guys, that's both ends tied off. So it's got the ascension on here, so it's very adjustable. Come down to this end, also the same, just perfect. What I like about this as well, if we were to have a downpour of rain, the rain is just going to get to this point and then trickle off on the uh, on the tail end and not actually run down underneath the hammock. So, yeah, pretty sweet. That's nearly the uh, basher set up. This corner I've just tied off onto this tree for now, so that'll do nicely. Uh, I want to get a hammock in there first, and then this corner, like last time uh, you would have seen in our last camp, I have a stick coming down here, pull that tight, cinch off with a little guy rope, and then uh, yeah, that should do us for the little day camp. That is my basher and uh, hammock now set up. As you can tell, just pulled this off on a little uh, bit of rope with a stick to prop it up. If we were to stay in the night, then I'd drop them down, peg them down, just to stop the wind. But for the sake of us being here during the daytime, uh, yeah, we're pretty good. Uh, Dan today, instead of uh, going through his normal hammock setup as well, he has just decided to throw up a basher. Again, doesn't have to be pretty, but as long as it works. Actually, that's really pretty cool. <laughs> he's done the same as last time as well. It appears he's tapered off the ends of those uh, sticks just to get them in the holes and yeah. Right, just want to get the finishing touches done and then uh, get some food on the go. Responsible fire going. Try not to get much bigger than this. Dan's just there now, cut some more wood for it. Well, that is us pretty much now uh, set up. Uh, if you take a look over here, see we've got a nice little fire going. Dan's got his little setup over there. Not myself. I'm quite happy to be chilling and relaxing in my hammock. The DD hammock is dot. I don't think you can get much better to be fair. They're very lightweight. This is again, I think I said it in the last video, the original version. The new original. Dan has the original original. I love it. It is comfortable, lightweight, packs up really small. Yeah, it's a bit of a win. So yeah, right, uh we're gonna get some food on the go. Yeah man. Right, time to get some food on the go. 
Uh, I have got the same as last time because I'm very interested. Got a nice all day breakfast to boil up. Uh, one of the silicone bags and some rice noodle things. I don't know. Oh boy, it'll be tasty. So I want to get that set up and uh, yeah, I'll show you in a second. Well, it did come with some weird items. Uh, come with like a little ladle. Uh, <laughs> cut. <laughs> right, so basically my cook kit is uh, it's just a little stove, portable gas burner. Uh, I think I got this from Amazon. I think it's about sixteen pounds, and that come with the two pots cooking, one for a drink if you choose to. Uh, it come with a few other weird little plastic dish things, a wooden spoon, and uh, it's like a little uh, folding cutlery set. The folding cutlery set I do utilise. I'll show you that in a second. That's in my bag. The rest of it, no, not really. But yeah, yeah, it works very well. I'm very happy with it. So yeah, let's get some food on. <laughs> As you can see, there's the uh, silicone bag that Dan went into a bit of detail in his last video. Uh, yes, basically all we do, put it in there. I'm going to fill, uh, fill this canteen with uh, probably about halfway with water. Let it boil, uh, probably go for about seven minutes, and that should be good to go. Then the boiling water that is in there will go in to here for my uh, rice, katsu curry rice apparently. I have no idea what it tastes like. So this is the uh, little cutlery set I was talking about that came with uh, the gas boiler stove. A uh, little folding knife, bit of an awkward shape but yeah, it's not really even serrated but it, it works. Uh, fork, again, does the job. And a spoon. Hasn't started to rush yet, but you know, we'll see how they go. But they will do the job and for, for the price £16, they're pretty bang on. So, this is our setup. All ah, I just messed that up. Next, so that's us all done now eating food. Just uh, chilling out in my hammock for a little while, enjoying the scenery, just enjoying the peace and quiet and the sound of nature. And uh, Dan, where's your basher? I don't want to talk about it. Why have you got a hammock out? I just don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> as, far as, as far as I'm concerned, there was no basher. That basher's dead to me. We'll see. We'll see. When I put this video together, the basher was definitely there somewhere. Now is your time to talk about it, Danny. It's good to talk, mate. For the record, that bash is dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my view. What are you munching on, Dan? Hey. What are you munching on? Uh, pasta and meatballs. Is this the fifty percent Italian coming out in you? Twenty-two percent, but you know. Fifty. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you have? Nothing Italian. <laughs> I've had some beans and sausages and mushrooms all day breakfast for the mushrooms. win. Uh, who, in, who in their right mind would want to eat a mushroom? It's paper. He's got a phobia with mushrooms for some reason. Uh, it's, it's not a phobia. It's, it's, it's rational thinking. Mushrooms, they come from the same, they're basically the cousin of athlete's foot. You're, you've just eaten athlete's foot cousin just now. Well, you've heard it first, folks. If you enjoy your mushrooms, you're basically eating athlete's foot cousin. It's a fungus, mate. Yeah, but it's a tasty fungus. You tell, but you know it's a... You're so you wouldn't scrape the fungus off your foot and cook it up? What? <laughs> you knew it was a fungus though, right? You know, you know you're eating fungus, yeah? I, I'm very aware it is a fungus, but it is an edible fungus. Fungus, nevertheless. I don't get the problem. <laughs> I don't know. Just sit here now. Have like a, a 20 beers, just chill out. A, tw a 20 beer chill out. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be going to work on Monday. The hangover would be endless. <laughs> I'm having the uh, rice like I had planned. Decided to have a quick cup of coffee. Need to warm up the insides, get the core temperature dropping in. Yeah, so chill out and then we'll start packing down, breaking down, and uh, heading uh, back up to the cars.
guys do have an open fire please do uh, make sure you extinguish it properly give it five ten minutes after you think it's out just to be sure leave no trace make sure the environment's safe for others now breaking down the hammock uh, these little knots got a little d-ring on the end let's just unclip it loosen it up a little bit Uh, yep, when I said breaking down a hammock, what I actually meant was the basher. I don't know what I'm talking about. So we're just walking around, and Dan has uh, stumbled across. There's been a murder. <laughs> Apparently, there's been a murder. I'm going to assume that is a little deer skull. I'm not too sure. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. Give us a like and subscribe if you uh, like what you've seen. If you want to know more about the cook kit that I use, the uh, link is in the description. Alright guys, that's the end of the uh, video. Just a little short camp today. We we're both looking forward to uh, the end of lockdown so we can get out and actually do some overnighters and get some good content for you guys to to check out so until next time take it easy stay safe we'll see you soon